hello 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 and welcome back to my channel guys i know that i just posted my first trimester recap but i wanted to hurry up and post this baby shower haul asap because i want to start getting the baby's room ready the baby's bedside nursery ready so if you want to see what we got for our baby shower haul keep on watching So I've been thinking about ways on how I'm going to film this <laughs> baby shower haul because I've watched so many and they do become really long. And in a lot of them, I see people do a clothing haul incorporated with like the rest of the items that they got. And I didn't want to do that this time. I'm going to do a clothing haul separately because that's like a haul in itself. And another thing, I didn't know where I was going to film because all of our baby shower stuff is currently in our living room so i am just sitting on the living room floor last night i whew, baby's kicking <laughs> last night i um i categorized um all of the baby stuff as best as i could by like nursing bath travel and nursery i don't know if that even makes sense mind you this is my first kid so i really don't know much about anything i'm just going i'm just learning as i go disclaimer we had two separate baby showers one was in september and that was strictly for family and we had a second one in october and that was strictly for friends and the reason we did that is because of covid and capacity and just having way too many people in once in one place so the one that we had for family they were given the registry before our friends were which is completely fine um, you know we received so many gifts to our house uh, by mail as well as cash and gift cards so that was really nice and thank you everyone for all of your generous gifts so let's get started I wanted to show you guys this is all bath stuff some of these things were on the registry some of these things were bought just willingly by people and other things I purchased with a gift card that I had to target so one of the items was this bath bumper this goes along the bathtub it's like a padding so when you kneel down to like give the baby a bath you're not hurting your arms and your knees I honestly don't know what brand this is it doesn't say it's it's from Amazon made in China <laughs> no, I don't know but it's gray and a little has a little bit of white and it comes in this cute like carrying tote this is by skip hop it's a waterfall bath rinser draft laundry stain remover along with that I purchased this separately with the gift card that I got and this is the draft stage one newborn Oh my god so i guess it has fragrance in it how is that not good how is that good for the baby i don't know everyone uses this let's see hopefully our baby doesn't have any allergies to this but it says number one pedi pediatrician recommended baby detergent and it has 64 loads i got these two packs of washcloths i didn't register for these i believe my mother-in-law gave me one and another was a gift from someone else i got the safety first nursery care grooming kit and it has a nail clipper, a brush, a toothbrush, I don't know what that brush would be for, a comb, some sort of like baby sponge, and I guess the bag that it comes in. Hi mommy! My dog just came in from a walk. Non-contact infrared forehead thermometer. I definitely registered for this. I bought this with the Target gift card that I have. It's the baby safety swabs. It's a Target brand. With my Target gift card, I also bought Mommy Bliss Gripe Water. I've heard so many good things about this. And this is good for gas, colic, fussiness, and hiccups. Also, this Desitin Daily Defense Diaper Rash Cream. Vicks Baby Rub. And then, for actually like washing the baby, uh, we received 
two different brands of um, soap and shampoo and lotion and things like that. One being Johnson's Cotton Touch Newborn Wash and Shampoo. Johnson's Baby Creamy Oil Aloe and Vitamin E. Johnson's Aloe and Vitamin E Oil Gel. And then Aveeno Baby Wash and Shampoo. The Aveeno Baby Daily Moisture Lotion. And then this lavender set. So it's a comfort bath and lotion. Our Passies. This one I got for free in my um, baby list registry and it's by Boone. It's like a silicone passy. I bought this Ryan and Rose Cutie Pat Navy Blue Passy from Target. It was like 11 bucks. I bought this with a gift card. I also bought this Mam dual pack of passies. It's for nighttime. It glows in the dark. I wanted to try different ones just in case the baby didn't want to take to one particular one. There was an option. I registered for these passy clips and they're on Amazon. I love them because they're gender neutral. Look how cute. And they are by the brand Cappy House, in case you guys are wondering. Humidifier by the brand Crane. I figured the baby's gonna be born in the winter and in case he's like a little congested or we are, this can be useful. And that is it for this category of, what did I call it again? Um, bath time. Let's move on to the next category. The next category is going to be nursing. And let's start with the bottle sanitizer that I registered for. So I registered for this Chico 3-in-1 modular sterilizer. It looks like it can do different size bottles, which is why I wanted this one. Um, and because of the price and I heard a lot of good reviews about this so that's why I went with this one don't mind me I'm starting to get a little out of breath lately I got this my breast friend pillow I was torn between this and the bobby and the reason I went with this one is because it has this strap that clicks and wraps around you like it locks in so if you have the baby here the bobby the pillow is not like sliding off of you where the boppy doesn't have that clip on the back and I felt like this might be a little more sturdy plus it also has this little compartment here it's like a little bag that you can put things in so I can put my phone in here or I can put um, I don't know burp cloth I didn't register for any bibs or burp cloths no that's a lie I did I registered for the muslin birth burp cloths I didn't register for any bibs because I figured people always buy you bibs so I was right and I received this four pack of bibs it's by the brand cloud island I received these two bibs that have velcro and I hear the velcro ones are really easy and I like these because the velcro is in the middle of the band another set of bibs I got were these three pack of bandana bibs they're reversible white gray and then this cute like safari theme animal theme and then the burp cloths that i got that i didn't that weren't a part of the registry were these were these chickpea ones i feel like these are too short i might end up just using this as like a bib or put it to like just maybe just put it over his chest because i want burp cloths that are going to hang down the back of my back because if i'm burping the baby like this and if he throws up this is not going to be long enough. I'm still going to get throw up all over me. And these are the muslin, I think I'm saying that right, for cloths that I registered for. This comes four in a pack. The other burp cloths I got is this four pack by Cloud Island. Next, this is the baby's bottle drying rack that I wanted to go with. I initially wanted the Boon, but I registered for the the green boon and I realized that they have a white one so I returned it and then when I went to Target to buy the white boon I was like this is kind of big it's gonna take up a lot of counter space and I didn't want anything bulky anything else bulky on the counter so I found this one by Munchkin and it actually collapses and you can store it flat so I thought that was pretty cool and based on the picture it doesn't look like it's gonna take up too much space 
and if I'm not mistaken, I think this was only nine bucks. I wanted a bottle brush, so this I put this on the registry. It's by Oxo O X O, and Oxo Tot is the name. So it has this big brush head, and then it also opens up at some point, and you can clean like the nipples, and it stands upright, which is nice. I decided on these breast milk storage bags because I felt that everyone uses these. I don't know, I could be wrong. But I got two. One is a hundred pack and the other is 25. And then I got this sample pack of two in my babyless registry box. And then for breast pads, I got these washable ones by Doc. Dr. Brown's and it's four of them and I figured four is not gonna last me because if I'm not doing laundry like every other day then what good are these so my friend gifted me with these Medela safe and dry ultra thin disposable nursing pads so I think I probably use these as well I registered for this lactation massager Apparently it relieves clogged ducts and improves milk flow, so I'm pretty excited to use this if I do have that problem. And this is by the brand this is by the brand Levy, and I believe it was a little over $30 for this. I got this free advent bottle. It was in my baby list registry box. You're not gonna see any bottles here because I don't have any. I haven't decided on what bottle, what bottles to get, what brand. But if you guys have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you feel like I'm missing some items from any of this baby shower haul, ju um, just leave a comment below and let me know what you think I might need. And I'm happy to respond to you guys. I registered for two bottle warmers. Why? Because I wanted to make sure that I had one in our bedroom because we're doing a bedside nursery and we have um, two floors here. And I just thought like maybe me coming downstairs to the kitchen to warm up the baby's bottle at like 2 or 4 in the morning is going to be a lot of work. And if I have the, the milk upstairs ready to go in like a mini fridge, I can just use one of the bottle warmers. So I got this Juul baby bottle warmer. I believe this was on Amazon and it was under $25. And then I also got this. This was my first bot, um, bottle warmer registry one. I mean, the first one I, I put on my registry. So it was this Advent Phillips one. Um, I believe you don't need to use Advent bottles with this. You can use any bottles that would fit in there. And I saw a lot of good reviews, so that's why I got this one. And this i didn't know what category to put this under but my best friend got me this this i didn't register for this i didn't even know this existed it's a mini sterilizer for um pacifiers i think it's pretty cool and it's by the brand munchkin hi maddie maddie decided to join us say hi this is mommy's baby girl <laughs> so now we are on to the Come here. Come here, baby. I can't pet you and do this haul. Now we're gonna be doing the traveling category. I don't even know if I'm grouping this stuff right. I tried my best. Um, yeah, come here. Mommy, I can't carry you. Okay, so moving right along onto the traveling category, we have this skip hop what is this called <laughs> shopping cart and high chair cover which I wanted to get because I like to shop and I want to bring my little baby along with me then I got these waterproof changing pad liners I'm gonna take these with me like in my um, diaper bag or maybe just keep one in the car just in case I got this portable hush machine so it's like white noise or hushes and I thought this was really cool if we're like out in public or we're at like a family party or something or at a restaurant and the baby gets fussy and the baby wants to sleep I can put this on low and it like 
clips right onto the stroller. These um, sun safety shades. I figured if we're taking a trip with the baby, this will be helpful to put on the side that the baby's on and it blocks out the sun. And this is by the brand Munchkin. I didn't register for this exact one, but this one actually turns out to be better than the one I registered for. And this is by the brand Lullyboo. It's an auto seat protector and organizer. And this will go directly under the car seat. And here there's some pockets. You can put like diapers or wipes. You can even put an iPad in here. And there's some other um, compartments here where you can store things, which I thought was really cool. This JJ head support pillow. Um, I think the baby might need this for the car seat because it's going to be too small. So it comes, you can make it in two sizes, either newborn or infant. We got this changing clutch that has a changing pad and then you can store wipes in here. I might leave this in the car or this could be the travel one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet because my diaper bag, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes, came with a changing pad, a matching, well, like same brand changing pad. So we'll see. This might be like the spare for like babysitter or for daddy. I don't know. Backseat mirror by Britax, Brita, Britax. And I've heard so many mixed reviews about these mirrors that they could be distracting to the driver. So... I'm well aware of those reviews and I'm well aware of that feedback. You don't have to remind me, but I figured I'd register for it anyway and see how I feel about it. Infantino Carrier. I like this one because it grows with the baby. So it's from 8 to 32 pounds. The one I originally registered for was the Baby Bajoran, Baby Joran one. And that was only for infants, and I didn't realize it. So then I went ahead and registered for this, and luckily we got it. Next, the most coziest multi-use cover in the world. And it is by the brand Parker Baby Co. I love this so much because I'm really into neutral colors, and the fabric is just so soft. So this can work to cover the baby's car seat, you know, when you don't want people, like, sticking their hands in the baby's car seat, like, touching the baby um, this helps with that for nursing shopping carts and high chairs I probably won't use that for like shopping carts and high chairs I'll just use it for probably nursing and the um, car seat but it's really soft I highly recommend this one to you guys then I registered for this cute sensory toy for the baby I plan on using this on his stroller which we have not gotten um, we are currently in October and I'm thinking I want to wait until maybe Black Friday to see what sales they offer or Cyber Monday. But we do have a lot of gift cards that we can use towards a stroller that will take off probably half of what the stroller costs. So either way, you know, I think we're going to be like getting a good deal on it. But I don't know if I can get more percentage off on it, then I'd be happier. But this like um, vibrates. Next is this cute, like, um, sleeper. I don't even know what to call it. So I got this on Amazon. This was a part of the registry. It's like this knitted blanket, but you can slip the baby right into it. I wouldn't obviously use this overnight or keep it in the baby's crib or bassinet. This is just like a temporary thing during the day when I'm watching the baby to keep him warm. And it buttons up and you can like leave it open like this for his head and he's like nice and snug in there it's really soft i haven't washed any of these items yet that uh that you can wash so don't worry about that it'll get washed eventually just not yet it's too soon is my hat brand diaper bag which i'm really excited about my girlfriend has the same diaper bag um and when she first got it she was like oh when you have a baby I'm gonna get you this bag, you're gonna love it. And every time I see her with the baby, I see the diaper bag and I'm like, this is so cute, I want it. So I decided on black because the stroller that we are gonna get is most likely gonna be mostly black. And this is it, look how beautiful. It has this cute detail here. And the inside has all these compartments. It's pretty spacious. 
and it has a zipper here. It has some po some pockets here on the sides and a compartment in the back and it's a backpack. But it also converts into like a shoulder bag. And then she got these two accessories with it. This little pom-pom thing and then a gray um, changing pad. Another travel item that we got secondhand was this Chico baby car seat. Our friends had a baby not too long ago and she was like, just take this, clean it up, and that's what we did. We checked to see when it expires and it doesn't expire until 2023. So we'll be using this as our second baby car seat because you always need to, you never know. I really wanted to give you guys the same type of haul that I did for the other categories for our nursery category, but everything is so big and I don't feel like moving everything around, so I'm just going to show you one by one and I'll be behind the camera. This item is like a basket. I figure we can use this in the baby's room um, to like hold his toys and maybe some blankets. This is our baby monitor that we decided to go with, and it's the Motorola. These are all of the diapers and wipes that we received. As you can tell, they're different sizes and different brands, down to Kirkland brand, Loves, Pampers Pure, Pampers Swaddle. We also have some water wipes over here, um, some more Pampers Pure wipes. And then some other size diapers by Pampers in, a si in sizes 2. And these are the only newborn diapers that we got. Oops. And aside from like play yards, my girlfriend who had a baby not too long ago, another friend, gave us this Fisher Price Swing. It's pretty much brand new. Um, it plays music and all of that. And this is like the compartment the baby goes in. It has like a liner. I don't know where it is. I have to wash it. And then this will also be maybe for the baby's nursery or maybe for the living room. It is an activity gym. And this is from Pottery Barn Kids. I really wanted to get everything Pottery Barn, but it's just so expensive. So I settled for this item. This was like $100 alone, but I love all the neutral colors that it has. And I initially registered for the Dakotot and realized it's just overpriced. It was like $175. So I took it off of the registry and I registered the Snuggle Me. And I heard a lot of good things about this, and it's only, did I say already that it was $100? But yeah, I think this will be cool for like, when I have the baby on the couch, I can just lay him in there and just chill with him. But then I also got the Boppy Lounger, which is this thing here. Um, it essentially kind of does the same thing. It's more for like when he's awake because I hear that it's kind of like reclined in a way so the baby's not flat and he can like look around and see things. And then I also got this Baby Delight Snuggle Nest Dream co-sleeper thing. I didn't register for this. This was actually just a gift that someone got us. Let me try to get it out of here. That's what that looks like. This will be good maybe if I take a bed, uh, take a nap with him in, in bed during the day. I can put him in this. I got the peanut, which I'm really excited about. This is the peanut kikaroo. Um, changing pad Rick you can easily wipe this down and when I do a nursery tour or like a bedside nursery tour I'll show you guys like how everything looks I just wanted to show you all the things we got right now then for the his dirty diapers I decided to go with the Ubi only because I heard that it doesn't take specialized bags so you then I registered for these mattress pads they're mattress pad covers, waterproof, and they're apparently breathable and organic. This is the crib we decided to go with. It's the Baby Leto Mercer 3-in-1 Convertible Crib in White. So this eventually turns into a toddler crib. 
but the best part about it is it has storage on the bottom. And I thought that was really crucial for us because we were working with limited space and we just wanted to maximize all the space that we could. And then for a mattress, we got the Baby Leto Pure mattress. This is not really nursery related, but I registered for the Skip Hop Expandable Closure. I know that the baby's gonna be too young for this, and I could, probably could have gotten this a little later, but I wanted to put this on the registry. This was like $170, and I think this is gonna be necessary for when the baby starts walking and crawling. We wanna keep him like in a designated area. We don't want him getting into things. It is the Nook high chair, and I wanted to go with something that was easy to clean because I heard so many mixed reviews about fabric high chairs and how they're a pain in the ass to take off and clean all the time. So I figured I'm going to I'm going to avoid all of that and just get something that we can wipe down. And this was $100 on Amazon and it, I think we got it in the color black. I don't know if you can see that. Again, I'm sorry that I'm not showing you this individually, but it's just that everything is still in the box and I don't need to take any of this out right now. So you get the idea. And again, if you guys have any questions, just leave me a comment below and I'm happy to send you like the make and model of, of everything. Nursery, we decided to get this portable white noise machine and it's by that brand, Dream Egg. I heard a lot of good things about this. It plays as so many different settings and I tested it out. It's really cool. Um, this is also portable. Um, but what's different from this one and the, the other one that we have is the other one has a clip and it's a smaller and easy, easier to travel with. This was the tub that we decided on for bath time. It's called the First Years and it's from birth to 25 pounds. So this can last us a really long time. And that is it you guys for this baby shower haul. Um, I don't know if I should call it a baby shower haul or a registry haul, um, but Regardless, these are all, if not majority, of the items that we received off of our registry from, from our baby shower. We also did get cash and gift cards um, and clothing and blankets as well, but I want to do that in a separate haul because those items are just so cute and I feel like I want to show you that separately. I'm sorry if the nursing, I mean... I'm sorry if the nursery category was a little all over the place. It's just because everything is still in boxes. We haven't set up the nursery yet. And um, I don't want to take anything out of the box in case last minute I decide I don't want this or I want another color or I want to return it. And this is really the only storage area we have right now for these big items. So if you guys have any questions on any of the things you saw here today... Just leave a comment down below and I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Also, if you guys feel that I am missing items, which I know I'm missing items, um, feel free to leave a comment below with your suggestions and tips that you have. They're all always welcome. I am a new mommy. I will be a new mommy. Then see my first baby and I don't know at all I don't know anything to be honest with you so any advice is helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw here today and I just want to be very clear that this video was not intended at all to brag about the stuff that we got from the baby shower this video was intended to help maybe new moms figure out what to register for or to see what I registered for and what I thought I needed. Um, again, I want to thank you guys for watching and um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys very soon because I plan on filming, come here baby, I plan on filming a second trimester recap pretty soon and I also want to film a bedside nursery vlog soon. So that's all on my to-do list. And I hope you guys were able to see my gender reveal vlog, how I found that I was pregnant vlog, and the vlog before this, which was my first trimester recap. Anyway, guys, show some love on those vlogs, and I'll be sure to comment you guys back and write you back 
it was a pleasure as always thank you for watching and thank you for staying until the end and that's it bye guys